The Rio Grande Valley is known for its citrus trees. There are a remarkable variety of citrus grown in South Texas. Lemons, limes, tangerines, kumquat, sweet oranges, and of course, our world famous Rio Star grapefruit. Whether grown commercially or in the backyard, Texas citrus trees produce sweet and nutritious fruits that have been a part of our history and culture for over 100 years. Currently, our trees are under threat by a disease called citrus greening, or HLB, which is spreading across the Rio Grande Valley. Citrus greening disease is not harmful to humans or pets. The fruit and juice that you buy at the grocery store or pick from your tree at home is as safe and nutritious as it has ever been. What is at risk are our trees. Citrus greening can cause the tree to deteriorate and reduce its productive lifespan. But the spread of this disease can be slowed. In the next few minutes, we're going to show you what citrus greening disease is, how to prevent the spread of citrus greening, how to identify an infected tree, and how to take proper care of your citrus trees. Citrus greening disease. Citrus greening is officially known as Wang Long Bing and is also called the yellow dragon disease. It is a bacterial plant disease that can infect and destroy citrus trees. This disease poses no threat to humans or animals, but can destroy all types of citrus trees. Once a tree is infected, there is no cure. This disease is easily spread by planting an infected tree and by a small insect called the Asian citrus psyllid. The infected psyllid carries the disease from tree to tree when it is feeding on new leaves. There are an estimated half a million citrus trees planted in backyards in the Rio Grande Valley, and most of these are located close to a commercial citrus grove. This poses many challenges to growers in keeping commercial citrus trees safe. If a grower painstakingly treats his trees against the Asian citrus psyllid, but his neighbors do not, then his trees are still at risk of being infected with citrus greening. It is important that homeowners and growers all work together to keep valley citrus trees healthy. How to prevent citrus greening in your trees. The best way to prevent your citrus trees from getting infected by citrus greening is to keep them healthy. Regularly inspect your trees for signs of citrus greening disease and the Asian citrus psyllid. These small insects sit at a 45 degree angle and are the size of a gnat. Treat your trees against the Asian citrus psyllid with approved treatment options. Detailed treatment options can be found at www.citrusalert.com. Water your trees at the drip line every two weeks. The drip line is where water would naturally drip off the edge of the tree. How to identify an infected tree. Check your trees every two weeks for signs of citrus greening by looking for these symptoms. Asymmetrical blotchy modeling on the leaves. If your leaves are yellow, simply fold the leaf in half, and if the yellow coloring does not match on each side, then this may be a symptom of the disease. Yellowing leaves is the most common symptom of citrus greening, but it is also a sign of other issues, such as a lack of water or nutrition. If your tree has yellow leaves, it is not guaranteed to have citrus greening. Check for raised, thickened, or corky veins in the leaves. Another, though less common symptom is lopsided, bitter, hard fruit with small, dark aborted seeds. Ultimately, only a lab test can confirm that your tree has citrus greening disease. If you see these symptoms, bring leaf samples to one of several drop-off locations across the valley to have a citrus specialist look at your sample. Simply collect multiple leaves that are showing symptoms and place them into a plastic zip bag. Be sure to write your name, address, contact number, and type of tree on the bag. Remember to check your trees every two weeks. If your tree is infected, it can take months to years before you might see symptoms of the disease. If your tree has citrus greening, there is unfortunately no cure. Over time, your tree will deteriorate and the disease will ultimately destroy the tree. It is incredibly important to remove trees that have citrus greening disease. Every tree that has the disease has the potential to spread it to healthy trees. Once a tree is confirmed positive by a lab test for citrus greening, it is recommended that the tree is removed to prevent further spread of the disease. We must all work together to save valley citrus trees. Remember, citrus greening is not harmful to humans and pets. The fruit from an infected tree is safe to eat. Check your trees every two weeks for symptoms of citrus greening. Report trees that have citrus greening symptoms. For more information on citrus greening or to report an infected tree, please visit citrusalert.com or call 956-580-4000.
1917 to speak with a citrus specialist. Together, we can protect our citrus trees and ensure that our beloved fruit will be enjoyed for generations to come.